1995 and we have two trees do something do something about that and it was like this the two trees the two trees that I demonstrated in 1995 it was something like this it was about something like this something like this it was in 1995 something like this it was just tall trees both of them do something about this these are facts about that I have to stress for you to understand exactly, exactly how, what, who, and this and that. 1995, do something about this, and they did. Love, you know, two trees wrapped around one another like this. Love, 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 love. Um, love only if I would listen. I, I don't think the lady uh, actually expected me to listen, but there was much, much more in it than love in this case as I'm about to explain it was a bigger it was a bigger uh, table than love here now I will explain to you uh, three guys two, two males and uh, one female uh, the guys looked like with like a hairstyle and stuff like this they had a completely messy hair uh, it looked like almost like a Beetlejuice uh, if you have seen that movie whatever movie that is I don't know the title but the Beetlejuice if you google it, it was all messed up man. It, it's like when you don't sleep on a pillow, and you, I don't know. You haven't had a haircut already for some time and, and stuff like that. Uh, the lady... No. No, no, no. This was not my type uh, of the lady. This was just not my type. Uh, I'm not saying that, that, um, that she was ugly or anything like this. I don't think there is an ugly lady out there. But she was definitely not my type. And uh, from what I learned, and from what the guy next door here is a police officer, what he uh, bragged about, what he bashed about was, uh, and I think that this lady was very needy for one thing. Um, I, this was just like a different environment and this is how they do it over there and now that this is how it's going to be here so that this was a meeting he held along a few other guys and i had to participate in this meeting i was drugged up i listened to that stuff this was in 1995 um and it appeared that she really 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 set eye on me uh, Boshko, Boshko was my name, Boshko, okay, that's a Bostian, but uh, Boshko uh, also. So you're not going to do it, this was not once question, uh, it was more than once question, and I, 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 I stated no. Uh, she liked this guy, this, this police officer, because I think, you know, that's what he stated, that he did, that he's, oh, he also stated that he did, it was good. It was good. The thing is that it's over there. It's like this. That this is this is different. If if the lady says and it's like this, then it's like this, and this is it. We have to get used to that, and so on and so forth. I still don't want to do it. Um, the car, the car they got here at this place here. This was a man. This was about. Uh, this was a Serbian man he was about age 50 okay so this is a city of the novel master it's would be basically right here not too far from our old house this is where our old house was and this thing here this is precisely where they got the car from now 
which of the buildings here was it uh, they got the car from? Was it like this building or this building or maybe even this building? I do not know. I have no idea. Two buildings. Most likely either he got it from this one or this one, I think. But it could be here. I don't know. The only thing I know is I remember this was a white Stoyadin. You know, Fiat. this this kind of car and this was like this there you go this was a white color car uh, and this guys how could I tell you they would that's why I say this it's a really interesting one this is stressing facts out they didn't he didn't trust them at the beginning he didn't trust them um, these are just young kids this girl too was she is older about two years than I am I know for a fact and it was in 2001 I believe that she completed some kind of university in Moscow and then she was like wow what you know big me whatever um, and you nothing and this and that I got now the university whatever um, and so people talked, talk, talk. They did they, they they it was like almost gave them a key and then took them and it was like really not so easy to get the car. Uh, they asked about what about the driver license and this and that this people they had me everywhere they went. And finally, this guy, this, this Serbian guy, they convinced him. Crazy man. Give them the key from the car. And then, shit. Then they would drive this car like in a movie. All over the city. Like completely disregarding and everything. And fucking science and they on the first place they didn't even have a license here and they didn't care about this license they didn't care about the license this was like you would say like awfully rich kids that have influential parents a lot of money they can pay whatever it takes to get around yeah in eastern europe this works different i guess this is when i learned uh or you know politically related uh, you know, kids, you know, from the politicians or something like this, and this is this was the case. Anyhow, they behaved crazy, disregarding size, everything. They would come here with a car, man. They would horn this and that back and forth. They created quite a terror. Basically, people were like, "Oh, what is this?" It felt almost like they would fell. It felt almost like they would fell from some other planet or something like this. This was very, very, very unusual, this stuff. Um, at the same time, you didn't have to be smart to understand that if you can do shit like this in front of the police, no way you could do something like this either in Yugoslavia or in Slovenia. <laughs> the politicians, I mean the police, they would write such a penalty that... You could go to jail, whatever. Very, very strict. You don't do this kind of stuff. I would not even imagine, honestly, not even the politicians would dare to F around like these guys did. But they did. And this without even a license, driving license that would allow them to drive in Slovenia. I understand they had for the Russia, whatever. But they need some kind of permits here, whatever, and so on and so forth. And even the car was not their car, and stuff like that. Okay, so this brings me to a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of issues here I have to explain to you. Earlier I stated that they submitted, and I actually blame the Russian state for all this stuff. I stated how it was the Russian state that... Um, that it was uh, embassy whatever that stated that they are part of the 
diplomatic circle and they, they firm a state behind st stand behind them and so on no 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 the Russian state basically no they they did not stand behind anybody and this is basically a deeper understanding of what was going on with the Russia back then and what's going on with the Russia today Americans who brought me in here questions their behavior questions their completely wild crazy attitude that would scare the shit out of people by the way when I saw the people got scared and this and that I wanted to scare all of them I wanted to scare them uh, therefore these kids and the people that acted like scared basically people from my village so the only thing I did was I added to that craziness even more and I started to um, act crazy and at that point the police officer here that stated the next door he said man you're gonna fuck us all up we're all gonna be dead okay this this is not gonna work out whatever um, and up to that point I still have some credit here with my friends here in the village but from that point on when I started to act crazy and ridicule them uh, and challenge them even more so because they did not accomplish the desired they would even until they would speed up the they would onto the pressure on the locals and stuff like this that's for the moment I didn't have no friends no more um, <laughs> police officer this guy he was not happy with me at all that was the first time he completely lost it and he said he said all kinds of stuff to me I don't I don't think this to my heart I can completely understand um, the recommendations didn't come only here from him but it was the whole process Americans came up with what are the Russian government going to recognize them as a legitimate part of the team or not and this is uh, some kind of nervous environment you know nervous completely nervous what's going to be and have you seen this have they done that oh what they have done with this with that, 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 that these are obviously Americans who brought me here some were literally from Miami they interacted with me at local employment agency workforce for innovation agency in Miami downtown along the Biscayne <laughs> so we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see if they're gonna uh, if they're gonna how they're gonna cover that what's gonna be and this and that and I tell you in 95 96 is when the Russians start to set embassy in Ljubljana as it started more serious talk about setting embassy here in Ljubljana or whatever the issue was I had no idea was is one the here or it's not they started to talk they're gonna start doing this kind of stuff whatever and so they wrote some kind of memo um, actually that it was like a news it was like a like in a paper and even on the computer uh, and more than anything they accident to me this verbally it was more about verbally and it was that it was that's in the paper have you seen this have you seen this and in the computer have you see have you read this on the computer yeah yeah they did uh, it was like what they have done what they have done oh my god what the fuck they have done stuff the way they act is just unheard of it's it's unbelievable how can you this and that la 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 and then will they actually what uh, what's gonna happen and this and that uh, well you never know we have to see we have to see what 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 the statement official statement is going to be from Moscow and this and that uh, we, we have to see what's gonna happen with this we don't know anything well maybe you never know maybe they're gonna say this and maybe that yeah and then it was this like whatever they had like a paper memo whatever it was computer on the computer supposedly this shit was written whatever they had these laptops that it was this written they had the pictures of them the pictures of them you have you see them the pictures of them and this and that this, that actually they did they came through they covered them they stand behind them they stated they're part of the official uh, Russian government in Slovenia 
even despite that, yes, even despite that, that they are official part of the government, they stand behind them firmly in their actions and this and that. Okay, so be so. That's why, that's why, that takes me to the next circle. Vladimir Putin was not, there's no more. Vladimir Putin no longer could handle. Uh, he gave up on, he gave up, he couldn't do it anymore. Vladimir Putin gone. Finished, finished. In 95, I rejected Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin was the first one that appeared. Do you like? No, I don't. I don't want. Uh, okay. So now you have instead Vladimir Putin disappearing from the picture and you have all of a sudden complete circus. Uh, three Beetlejuice guys, actually two guys and one girl, that do all kinds of rock and roll, uh, actually back in Slovenia, around your house, village, city, completely crazy stuff goes on. Uh, and the requests and all kinds of stuff and behavior that they would display in front of me was extremely gutsy and mozi mozi, whatever you want to say. Uh, they got away always with everything. They were like uh, three supermans that you could never satisfy. That's basically what it appears to me. It appeared to me to be they wanted to create in me some kind of idea that this is just the way it is. You know, that this is just the way it is. The Vladimir Putin, no. He's gone. No more Vladimir. Vladimir Putin was still. He just would no longer come, like, interact with me and be around me and be with me and this and that when I was under NK Ultra. But I knew, I noticed his presence that with he would come and you could hear and you recognize it, see it, but he would not go in front of it and this and that. But you could easily, easily, easily send that still that year that supposedly I stated was missing. He was not missing. He was staying somewhere else, whatever it was. He would come and he would leave and this and that. It was like this. No, so even more, because sometimes, definitely 97, if not already 96, uh, that according to him alone, he arranged uh, with Russian authorities that this guy is now be gone and he will be back on a picture and it was immediately like if you would go to the timeshare sales or something like that, you would hear inside of that ample room when they sign deals and they go, wow, wow, bravo, blah. immediately it would be not like cheering and this and that, but like very positive attitude, aren't you glad Vladimir is back, aren't you glad Vladimir is back, so I knew that this three guys actually, they were not even real, this was not real, this was just the way they wanted me to see like, be happy that Vladimir is back basically kind of brainwash now for you to understand this because now you already understand a lot about this kind of stuff it wasn't the russian state that did this kind of stuff it was a combination of people whether that, this would be a kids from retired or whatever officials, either the KGB or military personnel, politicians, whatever the case would be, um, a lot of these people are not even retired yet or, uh, you know, would have their kids looking for the opportunities, but they alone would look for the opportunities, such as the case with the Putin. And in this case, you have three kids, God knows from whom, what politician or military personnel from Soviet Union or whatever. That's exactly what happened after Soviet Union had fallen apart. So now you have all kinds of free enterprise in a really negative sense uh, on a market doing their stuff that just basically are criminal associations is what you have. And yeah, the Russian state did 
not see and this is this is bad enough sometimes it's worse when they don't want to see something when the state doesn't want to see what the state officials don't want to see something but that was the situation with the russia in 1995 they would just not see this kind of stuff it's it's bad enough when they close their when they blink with their eyelids and and they don't see what they otherwise should see what is their duty to see and they don't see and then it's happening all kinds of stuff that much I can say about fault of the Russian state that would be involved in this case. This was run by a little thugs, thugs that grew, thugs that wanted to become the best of the best, uh, as Vladimir Putin entrusted me once his own philosophy. Now, he said he knew he is a criminal. He knew he is a criminal. He, he knew that this guy was a criminal, that he was no good. He knew it. He admitted me. He said to me, he told me, he, he said that I am doing this stuff. He said, he said that, that you will understand why I'm doing this stuff. Because if I wouldn't have done it, he said, whatever you're not doing it, somebody else is doing it. And there is no faster way of becoming wealthy other than doing the stuff like this, the stuff that I do. Otherwise, I don't like doing this stuff, he said. But I do it because if I wouldn't have done it, someone else would have done it anyways, with or without me. This is the way it works. And he wanted to be the best at whatever he was doing. And it just happened to be a crime. Now it's the West. It's Donald Trump's time opportunity he sense through this case, the U.S. government, that this did not start with the Russian state in 95, the crime story. This started before I even came to America. The Russian state was on a completely wrong path. Um, you had people like this all over decade government apparatus. This became, you know, the communism was depleted and everything started to look for a private options basically and this private options unfortunately some of these options actually all of them were um, pretty much everybody was trying to do what Vladimir was doing okay I don't know how Vladimir was good at this stuff and how much other people have or what exactly went on uh, what deserved for his success but you know this is his story he lasts on that position like Vucic said to me in 2012, I think it was, you're never going to be able to stop this, even if you somehow manage to do what I did. And you're never ever, this is so big, he said, this is so giant, you're never going to be able to, to stop this. He said, maybe by some miracle or something, maybe you can stop me, but you're never going to be able to stop Putin. My friend Putin, he said, we're going to be forever. We're going to rule this forever. It's going to be this stuff and this and that. It's it's so big, he said, that you don't actually, you know, probably is big. There's probably a lot of uh, all kinds of people in there from all sorts of uh, government backgrounds in the past that uh, formed this types of, type of um, symbiosis with the West. You see, because the West, once they sense this kind of um, preferential way from the Russia, from ex-Soviet Union, they implemented the same one at home. This is how you get Trump. Trump is a con artist. He's a professional con artist, a criminal, career criminal, basically. Uh, and there you have it. He becomes uh, a preferred choice of the U.S. government uh, in this kind of negotiation the stuff that they want to have it done uh, and there is this big love between Putin and Donald Trump that exploded over the years the two by the way loved each other since the two met one another since 1995 uh, it was just love between the two right but this was a this was just a really really from Vladimir Putin this, this, this is just a classic criminal basically con artist 
somebody that's going to do whatever it takes to get the money. And it doesn't matter if he's going to sell you an air or, uh, or a brick that supposedly will even keep you alive for another month or something like this. It's a classic. You, you, it's a really, really easy philosophy to understand. Lumberbug. Lumberbug. The story about the Lumberbug. This is like this. The story about the Lumberbug. Lumberbug. Um, Lubada in Slovenian language. In English language, a proper term is actually bark bug, just as I have demonstrated you in my new site. First appeared um, in 1995. As Slovenian government reported to me at a request, uh, this is uh, the people that would just serve a theme of younger Russians, as I have explained. Uh, basically, not this younger Russians, but Russian team in this area right here that you see. Yeah, and I know so because I was told that because the Russians demanded to know if there is, because they aim this forest, crazy as this thing might be, if we have some kind of stuff like this in Slovenia, uh, that apparently this girl was very, very unsatisfied with me, you know, that I was, I was, I guess, the reason for this stuff, that this story uh, of the tree didn't make even sense in already in what was 1995 not this girl who was actually two years younger actually I am from her so at the time I don't know I probably was 23 something like this and she was I don't know 25 or maybe 26 God knows in that age we were more or less this was not the story that would come out of this girl, just like everything else not. This somebody else had this kind of shit in his head, you know? Uh, it was somebody else who had this kind of stuff in his head. You already know whom exactly I mean had this kind of stuff in his head. This was a much bigger operation to be. This young girl and those two young kids, this, they did not even know what this kind of a bug is that destroys the huge territories uh, and stuff like that. They did not know shit about this. I, it would be ridiculous if I would go and blame the young kids like this for something, something like that. It would not make any sense. I would, I would really come out completely stupid. No, this is not the case. But somebody else definitely, definitely did wanted to depress, oppress our people. It was not only the workers they went after. Man, they wanted to gather as many as possible dark clouds, anything to cluster, to put the fog on this little country so that picture would look ugly. They did not want the sunshine here in this little Slovenia. They did not like this independence. And in the picture no more was only Serbia. On a picture now was also Russia. They both wanted again a state which would remind, maybe even remind, on the one from the past. It was known as Yugoslavia. Either way you would look, I don't think you possibly could avoid whatever followed afterwards. Uh, you know about the war in the Balkans, you know about the massacre in the Balkans, it's when Serbs had the war and with the Slovenes and with the Croats and with the Bosniaks and, well, Kosovo, but Macedonia escaped and Montenegro too and so on and so forth. So they had the war basically with absolutely everybody. And the only one who was not guilty for this war, they were the one. 
it was a ethnic cleansing it was all kinds of stuff that went and goes on even today uh, in other parts and in also here too the idea was to recreate big Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia if we would stay in Yugoslavia according to what I can tell you my experience was in Yugoslavia I did not go to the US for no reason I didn't go before to the US I went to Austria then I went to the US look we had the reason uh, to run from the country to search for the opportunities all over the Europe all over the world it was not for nothing now this somebody was way bigger and this somebody knew what a psychological warfare is this was the warfare that was used against this little new country called Slovenia psychological warfare that means that not only would be devastated economically as much as possibly but since it's on a very transi trans transit uh, position in Europe bordering Austria and Italy economically very strong when compared to other Eastern European states the strongest economic state uh, it needed to be other stuff that was done and that included the natural past disasters like the one I have spoken to you about and so at no surprise oh this was the car this was the car that these kids would use uh, to run the city, uh, to drive wild, to drive uh, completely crazy and controlled. That also tells me that it was not the kids' idea that would do this kind of stuff. That was somebody else that wanted them to look crazy. Someone else wanted them to behave that way. So that I would be really glad to see maybe exactly him that's who in Wikipedia they are reporting that the bug appeared in year 1994 uh, somewhere along whatever I did found on the internet and I did reminded myself of the report they stated to me this bug would appear in this region marked with a red right here now the city if i zoom my city where i'm from it's about probably 50 kilometers away from this region that you see right there uh, otherwise this bug nowhere was in slovenia i understand it would be like mountains hills 50 kilometers away in 1995 no way that you would have this bug are basically spreading to our city from this place like with a with a velocity like this in 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 just i don't know a year or two it doesn't happen like this it doesn't happen like this but it did happen that a ground zero if you understand ground zero just happened to be exactly in the area which i have identified where i was really accepted very friendly by the locals who wanted to help out and this is marked there at four kilometers away from here forest and it would be basically spreading the catastrophe of this bug like a wildfire then afterwards through the region devastating the forests leaving behind nothing to the farmers nothing nothing des destroyed forestry completely but as i stated it would start at exactly in a place where i took you that's exactly a ground zero you could say almost as i was taught because it wasn't only for the farming people <laughs> it was all kinds of people they learned about this but farming people they went completely insane they went completely mad they lost it they were pissed off and i was actually even blamed that he, that what i brought to them that, that the forests are destroyed that it, that it was like completely hair up man these people these people completely lost it when they saw this when i would walk along these people if they ever participated mk ultra they told me that they thought they explained it 
every time when I see the tree, uh, he, one of the guys said, you know, they, they talked in a sense that, that it would be that every time when you see a tree like this in another part of the forest, like a way, over the years as this area started to, to, to fail, you know, forest next to the forest, to this forest, they started to fail. Uh, it was like they expressed themselves that they were really, really enraged when they saw these trees going down basically into waste into nothing I said said every time when I see this it doesn't matter how beautiful the day is um, when you go and you see something like this it's it's finished it's finished for me when I see the stuff like this this was horrific catastrophe horrific disaster and I believe especially because there is at least two other publications you know this is one that you see here. This is this is on Wikipedia. They don't mention 1994 like it's listed up here. 1994, whatever. I have demonstrated you that stuff, but they mention you see 1994. They instead of that they mentioned here 1995 and 2004, and then likewise it goes for this Slovenian state. You can see this. They mentioned also 1995 to 2004. They mentioned the same thing. Actually, this is the guy, Josh Diaksha, is the same guy. Okay, so they mentioned the same thing. If it's the Slovenian state that that stands behind this, and what exactly 1994 and 1995, it's a big difference that year. Was it real that it was documented in 1994 that this thing appeared? Uh, or was it rather even maybe falsified? Is it eventually probably most likely my MKUltra case when I was brought for the first time from the US to Slovenia started in 1995. And the chances that something like this would happen, literally, listen, literally in an area yeah, literally in an area where a lot of MK Ultra went on. This this was one of the first MK Ultra that went on. That that they would take me. They would keep taking me for a walk. Was exactly here in this place. This is exactly what this place was. The chances uh, for that year, I believe, are almost non-existing. If we didn't have this in a country, we didn't have this kind of stuff, and all of a sudden, we would have this kind of stuff, uh, and that you would have people at night when other people would sleep, and they would be going inside of that forest and doing some kind of crazy stuff like this, this kind of stuff with these bugs, that they would bring these bugs and stuff like this. Uh, man, uh, they started to plan this kind of stuff, then this is, uh, I'm going to say, more likely than not. It definitely does ha have something to do with what I stated. No. So, I am trying to pull this thing out. This is, uh, well, I suppose that this is the forest here or something like that. Uh, let me see that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. One of these forests here, okay? And our home is basically here. Okay. This is our home here. So this is basically completely, completely, completely next door. This is just right here. Now all these forests, within a few years, within a few years, this forest, they, they fell apart, all this all this the whole region basically this this ripple this would just started to go and this would become an epicenter of everything that happened okay it would literally go right from here from this area here now this was a huge feedback i also received along all other stuff i was guilty of accused of um 
under MK Ultra and uh, I have compassion for the farming people such as the case with individual from this forest uh, who told me and they know what they know for every dot for every MK Ultra point I go they know he did exactly as he promised he would do the owner of the forest where I was he drove right next to me today on this uh, village uh, abandoned road oh, let me see this here so that I can demonstrate you this is like side road like 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 something like this you see that the road like this is like completely completely uh, road like oh, let me see that okay but this is perfect this this is the forest the forest is here there you go this is the forest hey, here is the forest this is what it all started with uh, uh with this bear buck lumber buck whatever you want to call this it would be a road like this and he passed me by okay that, that will be Just as he stated he would do. Okay, so that, that, that would be a car like this. There will be a wagon, you know, um, like this with a white roof. I think it was a white roof, and it was like a silver color. You know, it was like a color like color like I think like something like this color and white roof. But you're talking about. Uh, a station wagon you know with the with this extended in the back okay so that he would pass by uh, to I don't know uh, oh uh, there you go to either say thank you to me or whatever uh, basically to confirm my news so this was eventually the owner today I did record it the other two recordings that you have seen of this forest okay uh, let me do this again for you like this eventually this was the car and if I would go to the map no that was not too good right uh, what I did right now and if I would go to the map This here, this is the forest where it all started. This is where the whole thing spread it. And uh, he met me basically here. Okay, so this is a local farmer who also is uh, the owner of this forest. I think he is from here, from... Okay, that's enough, from this village here, okay? so that uh, so to speak um, this here that you see this 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 rip currents the way it exploded through the ridge and through the through all this right behind our house look forest and you just go here and here is our house right here there you go so this is not this is really really not i'm going to say to you that this would be some kind of coincidence that bug would just jump basically uh i don't know uh from here something like this that, that the bug would just jump uh snezhnik it's actually here look that the bug was just jump this is more than 50 kilometers from here uh, and would all of a sudden appear itself right here behind our house this is not a big possibility that this would become like an epicenter of this bug that would then devastate all the forests around spread into through entire region and so on that's a badass stuff that's why I just somehow uh, 
refuse any kind of logic about even 1994. I will just go for with the 95 and 2004, and I do believe Vladimir Putin has got everything to do with it. This is a catastrophe, by the way. This is a disaster. This is a catastrophe. I believe this was one of the unnatural disasters that somebody believed is going to be so lucrative that people are going to call for uh, Yugoslavia again or something like that. Because there was few people like that. Uh, there were people like this. There are people like this that do stuff like this. Uh, and it's a burden on, on the, on the, that falls on the entire society. It's a catastrophe, really. And it's a stuff that is related to the crime. So it's a criminality. This is, this is a matter foremost for the police, basically. Bad stuff. That's what the forests afterwards look like. So not 1994, but 95 and 2004 that this this stuff would appear in Slovenia and appear completely somewhere else and that it would jump from here to here the bugs don't jump like this either, but if you put them in the car and you transport them to someone behind the house yeah then you can do it and these are the kind of tactics you know I am not sure whether I did missed anything else I would a report to you in this video but I think I did a good job I think I did explain to you more than just about this deadly bug uh, that destroys trees creates desert out of forests uh, how it came to Slovenia who actually I'm not even saying that one would not whatever but maybe not so soon god knows you know this is just not up to me to to be a philosopher about but i'm just giving you an account exactly about what went on and i sincerely hope that a russian government whatever that might be uh whoever that might be will take an account for what i have stated today and well, concern once and for all uh, accountability for the Russian state for its actions. Do the right thing. I, I sincerely hope so. That's all I got to tell you about. Uh, today is February the 15th, 2021. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, till next time.